it is brutally cold it's snowing and uh, yeah well the worse the weather the more I want to be out here the more I need to be out here anyway I'm at Pope's Island and uh, a boat caught fire this weekend and the salvage team as you can see right behind me they're on their way to pump the boat up and yeah man this is it's really really cold let's see what I can come up with over there you know I mean this is one of those situations I really want to be down there but you know I, I really don't want to get in their way and I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable either so there's a fine balance to doing stuff like this uh, but ultimately you know it's everybody's safety that's in their best interest including my own there's always good photos to be made. I mean, you know, you know, you know me. I like to be up close and in the middle of the situation in some uh, ways. But let's see what happens. You know, you can see the diver over there. He's going to go in pretty soon. I'm sure I can get some good shots. So let's go. For the next six or seven minutes we're going to do a continuous take just so you can see how I approach things. I decide to go over to ask if I can get down below. Conrad. Conrad. Hey, can I just go down there when he goes in the water? I'm not coming this way, just to where he is there. Is that cool? Conrad's running the show, so once he gives me the go that I can go down below, just to the bottom of the ramp, then it's time to get moving. From above here, I could see that the diver was getting ready to go in, and I thought it could be imminent. Well, it turns out it wasn't as quick um, as I thought it might be. And the reason I'm letting the tape run here, uh, just so you can get a sense um, of what it actually means when you're on a site. There's a lot of waiting, there's a lot of being patient, and there's a lot of just not communicating, trying to become invisible, trying to become accepted. And the only real way to do that is to just be the fly on the wall, just sit there. You just have to be patient. Notice, I'm just literally standing there. I can tell that the diver is facing um, away from me, so there's not much I can photograph unless I want to jump in the water. <laughs> So, again, you have to be patient and you have to wait for the moments. There's really nothing I can photograph at this point, so why am I going to make a nuisance of myself, right? Okay, look, he turned a little bit, eh, then all of a sudden he turned back. So, I'm just trying to keep myself uh, dry, which is impossible, of course, and, and I'm keeping my eye on what it is that's happening without any kind of interference at all. I just wanted to make sure here that the other camera was recording, so yep, it's recording. I'm going to put it back down. At this point, I'm just playing the waiting game. While that diver is facing away from me, there is very limited I can do. Very limited as far as interesting photographs. I'm trying to position myself um, where I can see the boat in the background and what is happening in the foreground of whatever pictures I might eventually take. but. On rainy days, most of the time I'll have like a little towel or something, but in this case I didn't. So I had to go from my hoodie and just hope that it cleaned enough. And you can see that it's snowing. It's not snowing hard, but it's a wet snow. I don't know anything about diving, so I'm just hoping that eventually something will happen that I'll be able to photograph. But it's important not to interfere with anything that's happening. If you're patient, eventually. Eventually, you'll get something. Hey, 
Notice how much space I'm giving them. Yeah, I like to be up close and personal, but you know, in, in a situation like this, you just have to let it happen, and eventually it will. Unless, of course, you your fingers freeze and uh, you slip and fall into the water, which has happened to be before, so you definitely don't want to do that. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to get any photos at all. I mean, just the way that he is facing in the opposite direction, there's just nothing I can do. And then all of a sudden, here he goes. All of a sudden, he's, he moves and you have to take advantage of that situation right away. I can tell you, um, my hands were completely frozen at this point, and I don't know how Conrad is doing this uh, with bare hands. His hands must be totally frozen. Again, there's another situation. I see it happening. I just go live view, put the camera up, and just hope to get a clean shot. There it is. You notice though, I'm still not interacting with them. I'm not asking them, oh, you're going to jump in the water. Oh, when is this going to happen? Or when is that going to happen? It's really important to just let things play their course. And once again, look, you put that flipper on, he has to switch hands to put the other one. So that's when you jump in and you get a good shot. And now at this point, I'm thinking, oh man, this is, he's never going to go in the water. And then all of a sudden he does. It's time for me to get out of here. I am totally frozen. Oh man. I think the only thing about wearing a mask that is enjoyable in, is when the weather is really, really cold like this. All right, it's time to get out of here. Get back in the car and just go home. If you enjoyed it, you know, It'd be cool if you just give me the thumbs up. Alright, we'll see y'all.